So they are the five-time British champions, fifth at the European Championships for the last two years. Here's their challenge for a medal here. Lila Fia and Lewis Gibson for Great Britain. Well, that's the challenge for a medal. It could not have gone any better. They've thrown them down the gauntlet to the Italians, the last to go. They've put the pressure on. Absolutely brilliant. Well done, guys. Well, you can only imagine, can you, how nervous they must have been going out onto the ice there. A real shot at getting on the podium for the first time. Remember, fifth for the last uh, two European Championships that they've competed in, sixth the year before that. And uh, going into this, they know that uh, they're in a situation where they can really put pressure on the Italian team. It's not just a medal they want, they'd love to get the gold medal if they possibly could, and uh, they've done the best job they possibly could in this rhythm dance right from the off look even under the scrutiny of the slow motion just perfect unison all the way through that well roman looks pretty pleased with how things went out on the ice and if he's giving it a thumbs up, it must have been good. Yeah, there was.
was always something going on, wasn't there? They made it look easy, but I can tell you that technically that program is mighty difficult. Now they're going to lead, there's no doubt about that, but by how much? Have they done enough to put the pressure on the Italians, the favourites who were last to go? Here we go. Yeah, 84.12, that will do. They do go into first place, and at the end of the day, by some distance. There's going to be two very different battles on here. One for the silver and gold between the Brits and the Italians, and one for that bronze medal position.